Hey, Tubies, it's Psychic Bob. Well, I tell you, I'm just sitting here getting ready to put on my Radha Krishna pendant and head on out to lunch today. I'm getting this video out a little late. Psychic Bob's had a really busy day doing private readings, and I'm so enjoying getting a chance to sit with all of you guys. Now, if you want to get on my schedule for a private reading, a uh, private reading is a full hour, you and me, one-on-one, -on -one, and we'll cover everything, past, present, future, spirit guides. You know, we'll look at messages from deceased loved ones, all of that and more, and I answer all your questions. Uh, you can call my office, 703-825-3929. We'll get you on the schedule for your psychic reading, so give me a call. Anyways, as I said, I'm getting ready to head out for the day, but I was sitting here looking at this painting. A lot of you have been writing, saying how much you love this painting, and um, it is now available in a print form. Uh, the original is a large painting, it's 20 by 24, but you can get this now at a uh, smaller 8.5 by 11 or 8 by 10 size at my website. So if you like this artwork and want to get it for your collection, uh, go to my website, psychicbob.com, and you can download it for free there. Absolutely free, free print, but it's only going to be up till Sunday, so get it today, okay? There you go. All right, guys, well, I'm getting ready to head out, but before we head out, we got to do a fashion check. Hatton and Shades, check. Cool graphic design t-shirt, check. Black jeans, check. Black loafers, check. Christian Dior bag, check. I think Psycho Bob's ready to go out on the town today. By the way, how do you like my new shirt? Let me, let me show this to you. This is one of my new graphic shirts. It's a theater shirt. Uh, it's got the, I don't know if you can see it here, the comedy and tragedy mask. Let me, let me turn around this way. There we can probably see it. But uh, it's the comedy and tragedy masks because you know I'm doing theater these days. And uh, we're going to have more announcements coming up this Sunday uh, about our theater group, the OPC, Order of the Purple Court Theater Group. Uh, but it looks like we have our cast assembled and we're going to start into our, um, into our practice, our production. So I'll let you guys know. But today I'm wearing this cool happening theater shirt to celebrate that. <laughs> All right, guys, well, let's go out in town and see what's going on. Oh, Tubies, I'm outside and it feels like a big storm is brewing. Look how dark it's getting over here and these intense clouds looking a little scary. I was going to go up to Fox Chase, but when these storms brew in, it's very dangerous. So I think I'll stay closer to home. You know, here we are in July and it's getting very lush. Look how green everything is. We're at the height of summer. Everything's in bloom. And I think it's beautiful. The grass is rich and green and look at those beautiful daisy flowers up here. Aren't these lovely? Look at these. Just spectacular, aren't they? Oh, I tell you, that wind is picking up. That storm is definitely coming in. I'm so glad I brought my umbrella. You know, around our area, when a storm comes in, it comes in rapidly. And if you're walking like I am, you can get caught in the worst situation. So I'm going to stay close to home. But I'm enjoying it, and it's good to be out with you guys. A lot of you have been writing and said, Sick Bob, we want to go out walking with you and go to lunch. So we'll do that. I think we'll go up here and have some lunch. And uh, maybe we'll go to Shooters today. Let's stroll along and see how things go. I tell you, the sky is looking really dramatic today. Look at that interesting streak across the sky. Now, I'm not saying what that is. Because, you know, we're not allowed to talk about things like that. But you guys can figure out for yourself what we're alluding to. There's our Sun Lord. He's being shielded by the sky, the clouds today. He's trying to break through. It's awful hot out here. And that's why I tell you, I can tell a big storm's coming. I thought I just heard thunder. Well, luckily we got our umbrella. Let's go along and get some lunch. Sega Bob's hungry. I've been doing readings all day. I love doing reading. So many of you guys have been calling. Thank you for, for calling. We have a little bit of a backlog, so I am getting back to you guys. Be patient. I haven't forgotten you, okay? But I'm glad to hear from all of you. Well, here we are. We're up at Shooter McGee's. We're going to go in here. By the way, this uh, dry cleaner, this laundry, 
is still empty. And every time I come by, I said, wouldn't this be a great Wiccan temple? Take a look inside. Look how large it is. Massive place. I think we could make a great Wiccan temple in here. I really like this. Anyways, and the cool thing is I'd be literally next door to Shooter McGee's here. Here's Shooter McGee's. And you know I always say any place that puts a pentagram up outside their door, they got some sympathies towards us Wiccans. So it's always got my support. So I could be able to come over here, have lunch, and run my temple. It might be a good partnership. What do you think? We'll come out a lot, guys. <laughs> it's time to eat. Everybody's hungry. I don't know what I'm going to have today. But we'll find something good to have. All right, TV. So I'm safely ensconced in my table here. I got my cold Coke and a good book. And today I'm reading... Uh, a set of four plays by Tennessee Williams. As many of you know, I just love drama and I'm revising my connection to the arts, you know, to painting, to drama, theater, all of that. And um, Tennessee Williams is a wonderful playwright. I, um, I was involved with his production of, um, oh my God, I always forget the name. It's, uh, I'll come back to it anyways. <laughs> I <laughs> like it out. The second time I did this. But this is a set of his plays. I've not read all of his work, so I'm curious about his other plays. And I, I'm reading that now. So um, this is Summer and Smoke, Orpheus Descending. That's just the first one, Summer and Smoke. Then the second place, Orpheus Descending. And then uh, Suddenly Last Summer and uh, Period of Adjustment. So right now I'm working on the first play, which is Summer and Smoke. Is really good. Tennessee Williams, if you're interested in drama, his writing is really wonderful. It's he's one of the, the American authors who really brought things into realism and um, I don't know how to describe it. It's just very dramatic and very deep. His characters are all very deep. It's great character development. So, and you know, as many of you know, when I was in high school and college, I did a lot of studies in drama and my high school drama teacher, who I love, and many of you may remember me talking about her, Rusty, was her name, Rusty Claus. She always said, if you want to know about life, study drama. And I really feel like when you have a great author like Tennessee Williams, there's really truth in that. So, anyways, um, yeah, I'll let you know as I get a little deeper into this book. So that's what I'm doing. Staying cool and Looks like the storm is coming in. I'm looking out the windows here and it's it's getting kind of dark. It's hard to tell here on video, but it's definitely looks like a storm is coming. And I just remembered the name of the play that I worked in. That was a Tennessee Williams play. It was The Glass Menagerie. Now, I didn't act in that one, but I worked on makeup and costumes uh, several years ago. But that was a Tennessee Williams play called The Glass Menagerie. I really recommend it. So, there you go. Well, good news. Psycho Bob's lunch has come. Oh, and look what I got. I got a Philly cheesesteak sandwich here and some onion rings. Oh, and they brought me a big bottle of Heinz ketchup. I love Heinz. My favorite. I'm not being endorsed by Heinz, but I got to tell you, this is the best ketchup. And I got me my cold Coke. Psycho Bob is living large. Yum. Getting ready for the storm to come in. Mm, really good. You know, as I said, I've just started into this book of four plays. But uh, I just realized on the back they have a summary of the four plays. Now, I'm reading the first one right now called Summer and Smoke. And for those who are interested in getting a little taste of what this is about, listen to this. This is pretty dramatic. <laughs> and it says, Summer and Smoke. Here's a summary. They were two ill-starred lovers, a minister's shy, sensitive daughter, and a wildly passionate, carefree young doctor. One hungered for the spirit, the other hungered for the flesh. <sighs> Ooh, oh my God, that's searing. This is like soap opera material. Anyways, I just started in the play and it's actually already drawing me in. As I said, his character development is so profound. I recommend anything by Tennessee Williams. I've, I've, you know, I've read a few of his different pieces, and these are ones I haven't read. 
but I tell you, I already am drawn in, just like I was the first time I read Glass Menagerie. So, highly, 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 highly recommend it. You know, some other Tennessee William pieces you might know would be um, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. I think Elizabeth Taylor played the movie version of that. And then A Streetcar Named Desire. Uh, young Marlon Brando played in that. Most of Tennessee Williams' plays came out in the 1940s and 50s. So there, there is a little bit of a dated element to some of their references and stuff, but I kind of like that, you know. Anyways, it's like that time period. Check it out. Gotta read it. Ah, Tubies, that was such a good lunch. Say Bob is ready for a nap now. But I gotta get home and process this video for you guys. We're gonna head out. It's getting awful dark. I don't know if the storm started, but it's looking a little ominous out there. Anyways, I gotta put my book down. I am totally getting into this play. It's so dramatic. Oh my god, there's a lot of scandal in it. Uh, <laughs> I love my drama. Anyway, it's got all my drama shirts today. My drama mask shirt. Yeah, I'm feeling the drama. <laughs> All right, well, let's go out and see what's going on outside. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm outside and I can hear the thunder. And look at the clouds over there. Oh my God, major storm is about to come in here. Looking kind of spooky and the wind's picking up. Ooh, Second Bob's gonna get out of this storm. Ooh, Lord have mercy. I'm telling you, you got to be careful. You know when those storms come in, they can hit you with lightning. And I've actually known like two people that have been killed by lightning, so I take it pretty seriously. Oh my god, this is looking really scary. Look how low the clouds are over there. This is looking pretty ominous. Second Bob is definitely heading right home. I ain't hanging out in this scene. No way. Of course, I could do some weather magic now, maybe do some conjurations. Nah, I better not. You know, they say you really shouldn't mess with weather magic. It's a little dangerous. Oh my God, I've just got enlightening. It's about to go. Ooh, Lord have mercy. I'm gonna have to hide out over here in the bamboo grove. Oh my God, do you hear that, guys? I don't know if it showed up on tape. Ooh, it's coming down. Looks like a tornado might come. Look at, oh my god, it kind of black. It's like a Bible guy get home. You know, on days like this, I'm glad that I pray to Lord Thor. Because he's God of thunder and lightning. And I definitely don't want to be on Thor's bad side right now. Hail Thor, hail Thor. We gotta pray to Thor. Hail Thor, hail Thor. Thor, you better get me home safe. Ooh, Lord. Ooh, I can hear me. Do you hear that? I hope it's showing up on tape. Oh my God, look at this cloud as I just come around the corner here. It's already lightning up here. Ooh, it's coming, it's coming big and fast. Hail Thor, hail Lord Thor. Well guys, I'm gonna keep this short because I'm not gonna stand out here with an electronic device and a thunderstorm. But listen, thanks for coming along on the adventure. And uh, keep it here at Spiritual. We got more coming tomorrow. We might have UFO Friday. So just be back here. Anyways, guys, you are the best. I love you. Thanks for being here. I got my hands full, so I can't blow you a kiss. Love you guys. All right, we'll see you back here tomorrow. Help me out. Like this video, favorite it, share it with your friends, and hit subscribe. I'm going to go before I get struck by Thor. <laughs> Hail Thor. Hail Thor. Ooh, did you hear that? Thor is throwing some bolts around. Look out, bro. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, may you all always stay safe and blessed be.